Hey, it's Dirk with OregonPreps.com. Back out here at the Les Schwab Invitational with you. Having a nice Christmas break, watching some basketball. Some of the top rated teams in the country out here. Another great event put on here uh, in Oregon. Great basketball event. The Les Schwab every year at this time of the year. We look forward to it. And we're watching in white, Westview, white and red. And in the maroon, we've got Prairie of Washington State. Scott Brooks of Prairie nails another three. Wow. Garrett, are you going flying in? He's going to make going to give Prairie the lead. Westview's going to have to dig in a little bit here with two minutes left in the half. They played well, just a lot of missed shots so far. Austin Kemper inside, he gets contested by Jackson, finished by Garrity. Garrity does a great job of hanging around that rim. You'll find him down there a lot of the time. He's not the tallest guy out there, but he can play this game, so he's doing a great job so far. Number four, Keaton Jackson of Prairie, a junior. Got him at about 6'10", he misses that one. Ball's pulled down by number 50, Michael Lunen. He did a great job this year on the football field. Definitely can play this game as well. Oh, and there's Jackson with the uh, rejection. With those long arms, that ball's not going very far there. Three more days of this tournament left. It's some great teams here. Oak Hill, Oak Hill Academy is here, as is Westchester out of LA, ranked number one and number three in the country. A great looking release. Luna's gonna battle and Jackson got a piece of him up there and that's gonna be a foul on number four. Comes Jackson to the hole. Oh, Garrett, gosh. All that work and he didn't quite get that one in, but he's played great this half. Here it comes. Oh, he's going to share the ball here with Wallace. And Wallace is going to look and find him again. Here comes Kemper, going to bang his way. Got to get up. Okay, good job. He's looking for that one. Garrity says, I'll go. And he does. Little runner there off the glass and in for Hayes Garrity. Now the Cats are starting to find their groove. During football. So, that was fun one to watch back. And that was Austin Kemper on the miss by Hayes Garrett. He comes in with authority and pulls that rim down. That was fun, Austin. Thank you. So I got it. Very nicely done. It's Michael Luna, number 50, big body for Westview. Another one of the big, big kids that can get it done for them. And it's just been so impressive. 4.25 student, great football player, getting recruited for football. Has some offers out there. And he may end up being a Yale kid here before we know it. Curry's down big now. They're down 19 points. And that was a lot of fun right there. That was a fun one to watch. Fourth quarter. Jackson goes back inside. There's a beautiful shot. Great, great use of his body that time. Lunen up top with the ball over the building. Young Jackson, 42, Garrett's younger brother. Malcolm looking to pass. He's got Lunin on the edge. He's going to get his shot on the. The other Jackson makes that count. Fifty-two, Connor Riker gets his chance to score, playing hard inside for the Wildcats. 64-35 with five minutes in this game. I think we're going to probably start to clear out and get ready for the next game. Great game here by the Wildcats. They showed uh, that they got what it takes to uh, perhaps move on in the tournament. It looks like they're headed to play the winner of tonight's game. It could be that they're going to meet Oak Hill Academy uh, tomorrow. So, and there goes Michael Lunen, Coach Bakuns, and the guys. It's Dirk Knudsen with OregonPreps.com. We'll catch back up with you tomorrow from the Les Schwab Invitational.